Hello there, Minecrafters. It's the B2, and I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, Applied Energistics. It's one of my favorite mods, uh, but um, um, specifically about uh, growing the crystals and stuff and kind of getting around that. That So uh, what I wanted to kind of show you was um, a little bit. I wanted to make sure I had the right stuff first. Uh, the first step in anything is really understanding, uh, and it's the hard part, is collecting stuff. And it's how to make your first fluix crystal. And so you throw in a charged surface, a redstone, and a quartz, and you'll see it lightning down there, and then boop, it pops into a um, into two fluix crystals, which is the first step of kind of getting the ME going, right? Uh, not not the first step of getting the ME going, but understanding applied energistics, right? Um if you guys haven't done, uh, hit the sub button for me. I appreciate that. Uh, we're going to keep moving along in the video. So the next part is you need to grow um, your pure stuff. And I don't know how many I have in there. I have the pure Certus. But there's a pure Nether Quartz and a pure... Uh, here we go. Pure. So pure Certus, pure Fluix, and pure Nether Quartz in, in the uh, in the items, uh, in the inventory, right? So, uh, so what I normally do is you can go in here, and obviously you could type in your, your recipes, but they're going to require fluix dust, nether quartz dust, and certus quartz dust mixed with sand uh, to make a seed. And it's pretty simple. You'll see the seeds pop up here, and you can make however many you want to of them. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and put those in. We'll get some nether quartz. Boom. We'll get two of those seeds. Uh, we'll throw in some sand with some certus, and we'll get two of those seeds. We'll put those fluix away. We don't need them. Um, and then you're going to need to um, get a crystal growth chamber. Now, when I started playing the game way, way back, uh, because I'm an old man, this wasn't a thing. You had the vibration chambers and all this other stuff, but now they're they're into these crystal growth accelerators, right? Uh, you'd have to put that on top of a vibration chamber, and then you'd have to throw them in water, let them set. Really ineffective, but, you know, they, they changed the mod, and they came up with this crystal growth chamber, and it is just incredible. So once you get it hooked up to your ME system, you just kind of open it up and throw your seeds in, and you can immediately see them growing. Uh, this saves a tremendous amount of time versus the old system, which was like throw them in water. Clear lag would pick them up. Like it would just... It's ridiculous. So uh, this is a much, much better system for this. Uh, I recommend using that to um, – and automating that too. I don't have it automated yet. I really just with the supplies that I have, I can dump a whole bunch in here, and they cook really fast. So uh, not too, too worried about it. But you can automate that with an interface system and the patterns loaded in and an export or an import bus to back into the ME, right? And boom, there you have your, uh, your pure crystals. So I hope that's an easy way to do this. Um, as far as the rest of my ME system, I've got a pretty good setup going here, and I've got um, multiple places on here to uh, to access or to watch what's happening. Uh, the other guys that are in the base with me aren't really big AE fans. Uh, the one guy is applied his uh, is doing Industrial Craft 2, and the other guys decided to do bees this time. So I'm pretty interested uh, to see how those go. Uh, and, of course, storage monitors to monitor everything. And you can see how the patterns work underneath. I've got all kinds of machines hooked up down here, and I need to come down through here and clean up the walls and, and actually make this into a base. But you can see all the um, the dense cables run and all the channels being used and all the different machines. Really kind of cool. So I've got this guy set up to um, always keep 10,000 cobblestone uh, in going at all times. Uh, and that's just the, uh, an igneous extruder. And then this will keep 2,500 sand at all times. So if I come up and look in my system, um, you'll be able to see that the cobblestone will stop and the sand will keep going until it hits uh, 2,500. And I'll always have 5,000 glass going. And that's what's kicking it all off right now. Um, so anyway, hope that explains uh, some of the automation. Uh, if you want to get into patterns and stuff like that, I'll do an update video on that as well. Uh, any questions, hit me in the comments. Thanks, guys.